Four former Blackwater security contractors faced decades in prison for a 2007 shooting in Baghdad. One of the men received a life sentence Monday. Prosecutors called the attack that killed more than a dozen civilians an unprovoked ambush. David Martin is at the Pentagon with details of the sentencing. David, good morning. Good morning. You know, the judge choked up when he handed down these sentences. It's clear that these fine young men just panicked, he said, but added <clears throat> they, were, they were armed with deadly weapons and their conduct cannot be condoned. Life for Nicholas Slatton, who had been convicted of first-degree murder for firing the first shots in the 2007 shooting, which killed 14 unarmed Iraqi civilians. The courtroom, filled with 100 supporters of the four Blackwater guards, let out a gasp. Then, 30 years each for Paul Slough, Evan Liberty, and Dustin Hurd, all of whom had been convicted of manslaughter. None of the defendants, who earlier had read statements expressing regret without admitting guilt, showed any visible emotion. Judge Royce Lambert pronounced the sentences after hearing emotional testimony from the family of a nine-year-old boy killed in the shooting. Nobody likes America because of what Blackwater did, the father said in English. Video monitors showed photos of the dead and pictures of cars shot up by the Blackwater guards who were armed with assault rifles and grenade launchers. The sentences were the minimum required by law following convictions by a jury last October. Attorneys for the defense asked the judge for mercy, arguing the sentences were intended for drug dealers, not security guards assigned to protect a State Department convoy in the middle of a war-torn city. But the judge responded, based on the seriousness of the crimes, I find the penalty is not excessive. It's been eight years since the shooting, but these sentences do not bring the case to an end. Even before the trial started, defense lawyer, lawyers made clear they intend to appeal. Nora? All right, David, thanks.